The eyes and ears of our state will be on Augusta this evening as Janet Mills is sworn in as Maine's 75th governor. Good evening, I'm Chris Costa. And I'm Lindsay Mills. Over the next 90 minutes, News Center Maine will have live coverage leading up to the big event, which starts at 7 o'clock. In the meantime, we're going to check in live with Don Kerrigan, who is at the Augusta Civic Center. Don, what can we expect? Hi folks, uh, the crowd is starting to enter and fill up at least the lower half of the Augusta Civic Center. We expect this is going to be a pretty big crowd. More on that in just a moment. Inaugural ceremonies are a mixture of just that ceremony and message. This is a very precisely scripted event. It's actually a joint session of the main legislature. They will all be here. The president of the Senate will, will preside and actually administer the oath of office to Janet Mills. Now, last week, the Mills staff told us that they had 3,000 requests for tickets already. We expect that number has increased. So there'll be a lot of people here. They're excited for the event, but obviously the center of attention and the center of interest for them is Janet Mills taking the oath of office and then delivering her inaugural address, which will, uh, which will really be the highlight for a lot of them of this event. And Don, any clue right now as to what areas of focus she'll be directing her efforts early on? Yeah, we have some ideas uh, based primarily on what Janet Mills has been saying not just during the fall campaign, but over the last couple of weeks since she was elected. Uh, Health care, uh, she has said, is number one, not just Medicaid expansion, but hunting for ways to uh, make health insurance more affordable and health care itself at least slow down the rate of increase in health care costs. She talks about education, uh, uh, expanding pre-K programs and uh, trying to increase funding equity between rich and poor schools. She talks about the need to take much tougher and broader action about uh, opioid drugs, uh, talks about trying to reduce property taxes in Maine. That means presumably more funding for local communities. And she's spoken a lot about climate change. We expect to hear uh, comments regarding that, maybe alternative energy as well. For many, most Mainers, many Mainers at least, probably most, this will be their first chance to really see and hear Janet Mills at any great length and in any great detail. So this, in some, for a lot of people, will really be their introduction to her and uh, their introduction to her plans for running the state of Maine for the next four years. We'll find out in about two hours. All right, Don, thank you so much. And much more coverage, again, as you said, over the next 90 minutes here on New Center Maine on air and online as well. You can watch the live stream of the inauguration on our Facebook Live page starting at 7 p.m.